Hello, 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 my gorgeous peeps. How are you all going today? It's Janine here again, guys, rocking it out for my amazing and totally gorgeous over 40s game from Auckland, New Zealand, guys. That's where I'm from. Today, guys, I wanted to pay tribute to my beauty queen, my love, Mel Thompson. I have been off YouTube for like a week and a half just kind of getting my own personal life together and while I was doing all that I found out that she passed you know it, it blew me the hell away I could not believe it I was like what what I was just watching her videos like last night and I was just I couldn't believe it I was just like what the heck what the hell happened to Mel that's what I was thinking and then I remembered all of her you know health issues and everything she had I'm not even sure if I don't even know you know I think that's private for the family but I was just my husband even he was just like what are you doing because I was sniffling I was like oh my gosh my beauty queen died showing him my phone and everything like that and I was just, just devastated I mean I was thinking about her for the whole week still am still am every time I go on my YouTube just have a little I actually got put off going on YouTube for about a week because of her death I don't know how that happens but I, I, was, I was I was just not interested in anything on YouTube or Instagram actually you know just being like Ugh. who cares Mel's gone you know <laughs> but guys we've got to carry on we do we do grief is it's a strange thing it's strange you know I mean I feel for her husband hubby and her kids <sighs> especially her kids eh four of them but anyway today guys I don't want this to be a sad video we have to remember our queen I've seen a lot of videos out there of a lot of grieving people and gosh I feel the same honestly I was supposed to do this video last week and I just spent no nah, I'm not I'm not doing any videos <laughs> so today guys I want to pay tribute to my beauty queen she was my first first youtuber I ever watched it was her and then Wayne Goss this is before I even started a YouTube and I would just constantly, constantly, constantly watch her videos, just those two. And you <laughs> asked my husband, he thought I was insane. Every night on the couch, just watching her makeup tutorials, le learning, learning, trying to learn, trying to make up, you know. Thought she was so gorgeous and her, her eyes were just gorgeous. Her whole eyelids were great. <laughs> Everything about her was beautiful, you know. I mean, the techniques and everything of her eyeshadow she was she was a true master a true master and I just enjoyed every single video that she put up she was so real she was so real as well guys she wasn't some rich person or anything like that she was just Mel Thompson and she just did what she loved and that was makeup man and she and all the brands that she got into I would buy everything that she would show and yeah that's how I kind of started my channel really because I wanted to I don't know do do it <laughs> I didn't want to be like Mel because I'm much older than her I'm 10 years older she's 35 she was 35 when she passed but um yeah I just she just inspired me those looks those eye looks she could create you know colorful all nudes Oh, she was so beautiful, you know, and the world has lost such a beautiful soul and, you know, when someone passes, it's just very, I don't even have words for it, you know, it's very horrible, it's horrible, horrible, but we can keep her memory alive, guys, by watching her videos and just... I, I still watch them but they make me sad especially the last one the last one really makes me sad I've watched it a few times but I'm I just get too sad watching it seeing her but 
just keep watching her videos guys i mean i'm still i'm still watching them yeah so anyway guys i wanted to pay my own tribute to my beautiful queen mel thompson by using her beautiful tiny marvels palette that she loved this was her baby this was her baby mel was always always going on about it you know and it's gorgeous i have to admit something guys i bought it when it first released i bought this palette when it first got released i snapped it up yes 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 but I never used. <laughs> it's just one of those things, guys, you know. I, I I knew that I'd bought the palette. That was it. I it was like, yes. And I've been meaning to do a look with it, actually. But I've had so many other makeup releases come out. And yeah, but this is it here. That one there. You can't really see the colours very properly because of my bright lights. But, oh, it's gorgeous. She loved her greens and she especially liked that scarab one. Oh, I'm going to do that one. Oh, hope I can live up to her uh, expectations. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm going to do that for you guys today. And we're also going to try one of her lippies on guys from Christian Audet that she was so proud of. She was so proud of these lipsticks. This came first, then the Tiny Marvels. And she was just, that was her first, you know. And I've got the colours Puffin here and Beauty. Sadly, sadly, none of them suit me, but I am going to try Beauty today. I bought Puffin because I really wanted to support Mel when she got these out. I also bought the Kitten Liners, which I can't find. Jeez. But um, at least I've got these two from her, eh? And we're going to try that out. The Puffin one is really bright orange. And when I saw her wearing it on her channel, it's not showing how vibrant it, vibrant it is, guys. But it's so vibrant. It's actually more, more orangey than that. It's, it's striking. It's beautiful. She looked gorgeous in this colour. And when I put it on, when I got it, I thought, yay, I'm going to put Puffin on, <laughs> put it on, and I, oh my gosh, I look like a clown. I, I really did, but gorgeous colour on Mel, <laughs> and probably heaps of other people, but on my my skin tone, my gosh, I, oh, sorry guys if you can hear rain, it's pissing down, but I'm going to attempt to wear beauty today, this one. But again, guys, with this one, I have tried it and uh, it was a bit, looks bloody beautiful on Mel. <laughs> it's a nudie and when I put it on, I looked really, really ghostly. But I'm going to do it for Mel today. I don't know if I'd wear Puffin. I could maybe wear Puffin. We'll see what happens. But anyway, guys, that's what we're going to do. Eh? We're going to respect Mel Thompson and we are going to play with her baby today tiny marvels she loved it and yeah that's what we're gonna do so hold on up my papes Mwah. Okay, my gorgeous peeps, we are ready to start, eh? Let's hit it. I have actually found it a real mission trying to find clean brushes because I have not cleaned any brushes. I haven't done my usual Sunday routine of, you know, taking my dirty brushes and cleaning them. And I haven't actually been wearing much makeup lately, actually, not to work, just doing very simple, simple looks and yeah, all that, so. I don't know what kind of buzz I've been on, but it's been a weird one, very weird. So to start guys, I want to use the Melanie Mills, um, <laughs> fuck, I shouldn't know the damn name. Melanie Mills Hollywood Gleam Radiance Cream. I love this stuff, it's amazing, and I want to put it on for Mel's look because I just want to, okay? I'm actually going to mix it in with my NARS, okay? So that's what I'm going to do today. So just add not too much, not too much, just something like that. 
I usually go really, really hard out on this stuff, but I'm not today. It's all about Mel, and I'm going to use my beautiful NARS Soft Matte Radiance um, Foundation, eh? Because I love this, so I'm going to put on about that much. Yeah, so I do want to do my base with you guys. Just fast forward it all, eh? But I do want you guys to see how I get the amazing base. Nice damp sponge, guys. I'm actually going to mix that in with my finger first. That's a must. Nearly forgot. What do you guys think of that base, guys? Woo! Check that out. You like it? Yeah. I love it. Now that's that Melanie Mills, eh, with the NARS mixed together, guys, and it's... Let's get this on, eh? Natasha Nona eyeshadow base. Gotta have that. All done, guys. It looks great. Okay, eye time. Let's hit these eyes with Mel's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous palette. Tiny Marvels, her baby. This was her baby, guys. I mean, she loved this palette. She would always talk about it in her videos and stuff like that, and I'm so proud of her for doing a palette. That would be my dream come true, actually. <laughs> Wow, and I love the colours. Wow, the, the names Web, Tree Hopper, Fire Butts, Walking Stick, Scarab, Flutterby, BB, Mantis, Meadowhawk, Love Bug, Jewel, Marvel, Death Moth, Bugaboo, Spider. I mean, all those names just sound like something Mel would call them. Especially Walking Stick for some reason. <laughs> I don't I don't know why, but I think that's a real Mel Thompson one. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know her personally, and I wish I bloody did, to be honest. Okay, my gorgeous peeps, you are zoomed in as much as I want you to be. Boo! <laughs> okay, we are going to start with Mel's palette, guys. We are... Grab yourself a nice, fluffy brush to start. I'm going to try this one from Natasha Denona. That's me on my... Beautiful big mirror in this palette too, guys. Buy it. Buy this palette. Buy it. Let me put it up to you so you can see it a bit closer. It's stunning. It really is stunning. It's beautiful. I'm so proud of Mel for making this. Um, we're going to do a transition first, guys, and we're going to go into, I think I might use Tree Hopper. Gosh, I always do a transition in brown. Why? Why do you do that, Janine? You could do something else. Oh, I could too. Could too. I could do flutter, flutter by. Which one, guys? The brown or flutter by that one? I'm gonna do tree hopper, okay? Oh, this brush feels a bit dense, but I'm gonna give it a go. I think this is a contour brush. <laughs> Yeah. Stupid idea, Janine. Stupid. I am just going to go on with this one here. This is a What's Up Beauty brush, and I'm going to do a tutorial on them because the lovely people bought me, they sent me my first PR package. So I am so grateful. Very light. Suits my skin tone, actually. Very light. Nice though. Let me turn this down a bit. Yeah. I've just turned my ring light down, guys, which is... I was wondering, what the hell? Maybe you can see the palette better now. Yes. Yes, you can. You can see the colours much better. That bloody ring light was turned way up. Sorry. <laughs> But that looks a lot better now. Yeah, I like that. It's just a nice loose brown. Okay, the next colour we're going to go into, guys, is going to be... Ooh, I love these shimmers. 
What would Mel use? What would Mel use? I'm gonna go with the green actually. I'm gonna do it. I am gonna go in with Mantis. And I'm gonna put this all over the lid, guys. <laughs> yes, I am. Whoa. Very nice, I like that. Now we're gonna deepen up the outer, obviously, but I, I'm desperate to put one of these shimmers on because I know she would have loved that. Actually, I'm gonna put something else up there in the transition, eh? I am gonna, I'm going to put Death Moth in there. This one. Yeah, I'm gonna put that up there in the crease. So I'm gonna put a shimmer on now, guys. It's gonna be this one here, Scarab. Where am I gonna put it? I'm gonna put it right in there. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful. Yeah, that is so nice. Caught a bit there. Okay, we definitely need to bright, uh, deepen out that outer race. So get another skinny brush. And we're gonna go and I'm gonna go in with spider actually. Let's just tidy up the edges that needs it. I'm actually gonna put a bit more green on too. So I've lost that. And I like that green. I've wiped my brush off a bit and I'm just going to tidy it up. That green's pigmented as. It's beautiful. Whew. Put a bit more of that duo chrome on. I think it's duo. It would be. Yep. Now we'll do the bottom lash line, eh? I mean, that looks a bit... I love it. Greeny. Kind of looks a little bit muddled up. I don't care. It's bloody nice to me. Yep. So, for the bottom lash line, guys, we are going to go into... I'm going to go into Spider darkest brown and the bottom lash line always makes us feel better oh actually I'm gonna go halfway and I'm gonna put the green on there spider on the end with a little reverse cat eye <laughs> kind of up like that Yep, kind of like that, I like that, I like that. Just wipe your brush off a little bit guys and we're gonna go into Mantis, that green one. And I'm gonna put that on my bottom lash line as well. Just to give it some poppy. I want, I want to try one more color though. I'm gonna put Meadow Hawk in the middle of my eye. I know, it doesn't look like it suits, but um, I'm just going to use my finger for that. Brushes are going everywhere. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I don't care. I'm sure Mel would have approved of it. What's that look like, guys? Kind of weird. We'll finish up and then we'll take a look, eh? Um, everything always looks better with the mascara on and the eyeliner and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to do, eh? Hold on up, my peeps. Okay, my beautiful peeps. I have finished up the look. Do you like? I love it. 
I think it's gorgeous. See how the eyeliner and all that just kind of comes on board and it just makes everything really, really, really nice, the mascara and everything like that. Um, I'm just gonna pop on some um, Huda Beauty, the new Nymph, what is it? Nymph Glaze by Huda, and this is the one in Luna. So I wanna try this one out. It's a cream one. Oh, it's a creamy. Yeah, I can do it with my fingers, I think. Whoa. Need a mirror. Where's my mirror? Oh gosh, it's under all this shit. Very creamy. Oh yeah, Huda. Make me shine. Shit, I didn't know it was a cream. Now I'm putting it over my powder, bloody blush and bronzer. Nice though. Love Huda Beauty stuff as well. As you can tell guys, I love the shine, eh? <laughs> yes, my papes, right. Last step, let's hit the lippies. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go for puffin. I really do not suit it. I have tried it three times and I just went, even beauty is a bit light for me, but for Mel, I'm gonna do this. So be with me guys. Here it goes. Whoa. <laughs> Did you guys notice that I had a bit of puffing on my lips? <gasps> that is a stunning color, eh? She used to always wear this. It is a stunning, stunning color. Let me zoom you in. It's a stunning colour, but I just don't suit it, if you know what I mean. Mm, it's too light for me. It's very hard for me to find a nudie. Yeah, I, ooh, I'm going to wipe it off actually, guys. <laughs> no offence, Mel. But it just... Mm, hold on up. Yeah, I had to wipe that off, guys. Sorry, it was just too damn light for me. It doesn't suit me. It suits Mel perfectly, and I really wanted to, to be able to wear it, but I have to be careful with my nudies um, because it, it can either make me look very, very, very washed out, you know, so I've got to be careful. Anyway, guys, I wanted to show you. I wanted to buff out with my beautiful Laura Mercier Light Catcher Powder again and Honey Star. I am addicted to this stuff guys, so get yourself a big fill, um, flat, fat, fluffy brush and we're just going to dip it in here. This stuff is gorgeous. I want you guys to get it, it's just so beautiful. Ready? We're just going to buff everything out. Whoa! <laughs> I love it when it goes on, it just gives you this amazing Cleopatra like shine whoa I love this stuff eh I could just wear it as you know on top of normal skin as well just on top of your moisturizer look at that glow it gives you look at all my hair <laughs> oh well sets your face and gives you a mean ass glow as well I love it that's the Laura Mercier Light Catch Powder, guys. I could not. I love it. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I'm so unorganized, my peeps. My shit is just going everywhere. <sighs> Getting back to filming and I miss Mel. I really do. I really do. Okay, let's finish up this look, guys, by adding Juvia's Place. Um, what is this? The Reds Collection in Afrique. I love this. I always love me a good red. <laughs> okay. I love that and I love Juvia Place's lipsticks anyway. 
What do you think? I think it's gorgeous. I think it's, yep, I love my duckies. <laughs> Hold on up guys, come, I'll come up closer, I'll take my hair out for you, then we can have a proper look at the look that we created today with Mel's palette. Hold on up. Okay my gorgeous peeps, here I am. I'll take my hair out, oops, forgot to do that. Oh, forgot to do that for you guys. Um, yep, so that's me. I hope you enjoyed this look. I really enjoyed doing it for you guys as usual. I think you're all, all amazing. I love makeup. I love everything about it and I love showing you guys my little looks. What did you think of the look that we made today, guys? That little pop of that little bit in the middle I think has really sparked it off. It's, it needed something, but I, I'm quite happy with that. I mean, that wasn't one of my best efforts either. <laughs> Unfortunately, guys, I, I feel a bit rusty after having a week and a half off, but I think that is um, gorgeous. That look, let's, let me come up closer. It's that green and then that hint of that, that light, the one that we popped in the middle. Green underneath here, guys, with the darker. I think it's perfect. Yes, my peeps, I think we did a good job today. Um, I love Mel's palette. I love it. I wish I used it earlier. Oh, all my shit's falling down. But, you know, life, such as life, guys, such as life, you know. I'm just so glad that I am able to use this for Mel. And I'll keep using it till I make sure of it. I miss her so much. I miss her. Even though I didn't know her, guys, I didn't know her. I just miss seeing her. I miss her tutorials and stuff like that. And just seeing her and stuff. Yeah, it's weird. Gosh, I really give my love out to all of her kids and her husband. I hope they're okay. I've been, I did write a few comments on Instagram <laughs> to them, hoping he's okay and stuff like that, but yeah. Anyway guys, this is my little tribute to Mel Thompson and her beauty. I know she loved this palette, she loved it so much, it was her baby. It was one of her babies, this palette, Tiny Marvels. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys and I hope I've done a little bit of justice to my beauty queen Mel who I absolutely love and yeah. You've got to still buy this, guys. You must. It's a must have. It's gorgeous. They're so pigmented. Everything. The green. The green. The duo. Ooh. I'm going to keep using this. You can make so many different looks, too. You can do go brownie if you're into neutrals. Pop a bit of green in there. Pinkies. Purples. So many different looks. Green and gold. Wow. I love it. It's really beautiful. Let's try fire butts. <gasps> Oh my gosh, look at fire butts. Oh my gosh, it's so reflective. Should I put some on? Whoa. Wow. Oh my gosh, it suits. Oh, what a beautiful color. I love gold. Anyway guys, I hope you all have a great morning, day or night, wherever you are in the world, eh? Take care guys and be kind to each other and love each other and love your family and hug them. Okay my peeps, love you peeps. See you next time. Mwah.